there for applauding up until you could see me. <laughs> also nice to hear my show title introduced and someone in that section just went, ugh. <laughs> it's gonna be a good month in August, already getting some critiques in. Who, who went, ugh? <laughs> Not so fucking brave now, huh? Now that your confrontee is here to confront you. <laughs> this is actually a good strategy. I see why the internet is the way it is. Why is it so tense in here? <laughs> Guys, don't worry. I'm very good in a tense situation. I've been in a lot of tense situations. Once, I was in a lift and someone farted and two people claimed responsibility. <laughs> if I got through that, I can get through this. Latecomers, let me bring you up to speed. It's going very well. <laughs> There was someone over there that does not like the title of my show that I've paid quite a great deal of money to... I agree, madam. May I, I'm going to tell you the title of the show, and I think you'll be very impressed at the hilariously shit pun my friend Chris Martin sent me on WhatsApp when I said I forgot to give my show a title, What's a Shit Pun with My Name in It? And he gave me John Hastings colon, uh, float like a butterfly, John Hastings like a bee. What do you think of that? <laughs> Not a yuck, but instead a seductive glance at her friend. That's how good my show is titled. It brings passion to the forefront. Again, it's tense again. How much, Corey, can I start my time over again? I understand we're supposed to only have three minutes, but the other acts were not affronted based on their creative work. When Catherine's show was read out immaculate, everyone went appropriate title. My show title is read out, and I'm met with chagrin and confusion, and a, a lot of nodding from you, sir, who looks like you escaped from the cover of a yachting magazine. <laughs> 8.30, Pleasant Cellar, you're invited. The rest of you, you're on thin ice. <laughs> How much time do I have left? <laughs> Whatever, we're going long. Now. <laughs> <laughs> What's Chortle gonna do? Another three stars? I get him every year. <laughs> Poised comedian, no one's dead. Three stars, but it reads like a four, and I want to say something to Steve, but I don't, and I can't wait for the awkward moment we're gonna have in a second. Oh, is that the light, Corey? Watch me disregard it. <laughs> I'm not actually going to. She's terrifying and has a cane. <laughs> Which she says is for a disability, but I think it's just so she could have a weapon. <laughs> right, Corey? Right. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna leave on a fucking laugh. I deserve it, because I've told you all the truth. Not every comedian's brave enough. It's not a good reaction when you say, I'm telling the truth, and one just goes, Puh. <laughs> That's him embracing his truth, and I'm all right with it. I know what you're saying, but John, we can't always tell the truth. Yes, you can, because instead of lying, just say a series of statements that are connected to the question you do not want to answer truthfully, and they will move you away from having to answer at all. For example, hey, John, what did you do last night? Oh, last night, with the full moon, I was with my friend Paul. Get this, he mooned me. Were you aware that the moon cup is a reusable tampon-like device <laughs> women insert inside themselves during their menstrual, uh, menstrual cycle? collects all the blood, then they wash it out in a sink or bathtub. After a series of statements like that, you'll be asked no more questions. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good night.